Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 5. This is build 17733 released today early afternoon around 1 p.m. Eastern Time and um, <clears throat> basically it's the end of the road getting really close to the end of the road as they are saying um, there's you know the, they say today's belt marks the turning point where we finished what we set out to do for this release so this means that there's pretty much nothing or almost nothing that will be added in the next builds we are now in the last stretch of the version 1809 which will probably be called October uh, 2018 update. So 17733 has one little thing. The last tweaks to the dark mode in the File Explorer. Uh, pretty much saying that this is what dark mode will all be about and this is what it will look like for now. This is the tweaking of the File Explorer uh, desktop app. So this is what we're getting. I mean it's okay. Um, I kind of like it. I, 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 I will not change back to, um, you know, a white background team. I, I like the fact that it's in, uh, it, it's dark, you know, uh, it's okay. And um, of course, some of you might have wanted to have more, but that's where we are at. And, you know, we're getting close to um, what is going to be the last stretch of, of Windows 10, Redstone 5. So, um, it seems we're not going to have a lot of tweaks in here and a lot of new things, uh, if any. Apart from that, nothing really, really it shows us that we're getting close to uh, what is the uh, official release. Um, general install, same, you know, the um, pre-install phase here takes about three hours on this machine. You know, it's faster on some. Somebody was asking me the other day, why does it take three hours? I don't understand. Well, you know, it sets up everything so that the time, the downtime when the install, the ex, you know, the official time that Windows is actually installing where you can't use your PC is the shortest possible. So on this machine, which is an old Core i3 machine, it takes three hours. It's on an old 5400 RPM hard drive. Um, then it takes about 35 minutes for the install itself. The question is, who cares if it takes three hours or five hours or two hours or 30 minutes on this space? It has, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter simply because you're using your PC while that is happening. You're actually never gonna see, for most people, most people will never see this part. They'll be using their PCs while all of this is happening in the background. So whatever time it takes, who cares? It doesn't matter because you're not there looking at it. You're doing something with your PC. I use my PC during that three hours doing other things with it, you know, as if nothing was happening, even though I knew in the background. Then at some point, you know, it asked for a restart to uh, install the uh, latest build. The important thing is that the install phase, the one that your PC can't be used, is the shortest possible and I think they kind of pretty much succeeded on this. Um, I, 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 you know, it's fun to see that the, the time of the install of Windows 10 has shrunk uh, over time. It was much longer than that in the first Windows 10 install. It's so much shorter today. Um, lots of you know little fixes here and there of all sorts of things they needed to have um, fixed in different aspects of the Windows operating system, of course. Uh, lots of known issues uh, still, and um, you know, working on that slowly. As we get through the next phase, you know, this build will have uh, bug fixes, a lot of bug fixes, but we should see a shrinking, a shrinking, um, you know, number of issues. So uh, this, is because they are actually you know tweaking and fixing the build so the key features are here uh, file explorer is pretty much done we're 
you know, in the last stretch, there's not a lot to talk about about this build. Stability, yeah, I've been using it since, I've been using it for the past four hours, a little less than four hours, uh, maybe three hours. And I have had no glitches, no problems. Uh, everything works great. Edge has been, you know, working perfectly. I got no issues to report and uh, everything seems to be working as it should for this build. Uh, the, the build is stable, it's fast, and I uh, kind of really like it. So uh, nothing much more to talk about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.